for this. Sam. Yeah. <laughs> get a mic and let's uh, let's roll with this shit. This is for uh, Colin Quinn. I am Colin Quinn on Twitter, by the way. Oh, we're talking about Twitter. That's right. <laughs> um, well, you can get him a few ways now with the show. Yeah, also. That's true. That's true. Yeah, uh, tell it, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> He's a beat man. Uh, already. Hella, hella hates, yeah. <laughs> Only took an hour. To, Long to break story him. short, <laughs> Colin Quinn. Uh, Sam. Yeah. Scorch is back, huh? That's right. With a we never went away. We just go away because we can't take too much <laughs> of too much too Scorch. Much. Right. Yeah. Scorch is like LSD. You just don't want to do it all the time. No. But every once in a while, it's fun. It's nice to revisit. Yeah. Because sure. you're going to a different world. Yeah. The show's is... like pot. You can do it every day. It's fun. Yeah. So for the new listeners, just summarize. What, what is this Scorch character all about? Well, Scorch is a man who taught me everything I know about radio. <laughs> yeah. He was uh, Syracuse's finest rock DJ. <laughs> Uh, I got hooked up with an internship after interning here and going back up to Syracuse. You did. You were a traitor. You left here just to go up to Syracuse. And, yeah, and Scorch stole me away. For Scorch. <laughs> well, we knew Scorch before you, and yeah. unfortunately for him, he was pizza and we were hamburger. Right, and that's the, the programming director. Right. He said both are great, but the station's more heading towards hamburgers than and pizza. And you have pizza. Because pizza's great. <laughs> a lot of times I want pizza. I got an update on that program director, by the way, oh, about a year ago. Dead. He's a greeter at a, at, a, uh, uh, at a supermarket. No way. Oh. Yeah. That's how bad his Using life Using his got. communication skills? Yeah, that's how bad his life got. Yeah, that's good. Good for He him. greets people at a uh, big-time uh, uh, grocery store the guy that in cut the Boston the area. placenta falls to the floor line out of lightning crashes uh, because I think his wife uh, Oh, him. fuck, I forgot that. about that. You remember that? He was we editing songs before anyone else started doing it. Editing songs. There's a line, the placenta falls to the floor and lightning crashes. Right. I forgot and, about that uh, one. our program director... And I'm convinced, in my opinion, that his wife was hated so overbearing she and hated, hated us, us, hated hated the station, hated the rock music, hated uh, that 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 offended her. That he cut it out of the song, so the song started on the second verse, and we would get mocked for it because people would be like, "BCN doesn't do it. Right. You guys are faggots," <laughs> and we'd have to sit there and go, "Yes, we're faggots." Sorry. Well, that is very offensive, the placenta falling. Yeah, placenta <laughs> falling to the floor is just, it's, it conjures up an image, Colin. Well, then don't, then don't fucking play the song. Yeah, yeah, then just don't play the fucking thing. Uh, PFG but, TV's back. So. Right, so Scorch, uh, after tearing it up in Syracuse, uh, decided to go to New Hampshire and leave his co-host behind without mentioning it to him until the day before. <laughs> Scorch is the best because the entire <laughs> it's time I was there. for yourself, Scorch. I was with him for nine months. Not only was he fending for himself, but he was telling his co-host, Paulie, don't worry about it. I'm sending out tapes of us. They're going to pick us up somewhere. Don't worry about it. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah, telling him, do not send your tapes out because I'm sending out tapes of both of us while he already knew that in two months he was going to New Hampshire <laughs> without he, Pauly. He didn't want him sending his tapes out so Pauly didn't get uh, another did, gig. Yeah. Oh, and there was no reason for it. Yeah, I yes, love watching treacherous. Colin as we talk about Scorch. I, yeah. It's my favorite thing in the world. You man. learn a lot from Scorch. <laughs> Colin can't get enough of Scorch. You do. And while yeah. Scorch told me that he would technically be making around the same amount of money, which since Scorch lies constantly, <laughs> is obviously less money, uh, with the bar gigs... Added on to his uh, salary, yeah. he'd be making six figures with bar gigs. Plus, where, it, was that cla- it was that classic relationship <laughs> of, like, the older kind of pompous guy who does who thinks he's schooling this young kid. He doesn't yeah. see the contempt. <laughs> I know. <He> see- <laughs> the, the sarcasm that's dripping off of this kid he's every like, time kid, Scorch went learn, to give him. Yeah. Learn from me. So and words of wisdom. Just noticing everything the whole oh, time. Oh, yeah, Scorch. Wow, what a great <laughs> bit of info you just gave me. When I was, yeah, you take that with your kid. Writing Scorch's emails that were from listeners. No, go get me a cup of coffee. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Pushing him around, oh, stabbing yeah. his friend in the back, but he doesn't think he's It's called paying your dues. <laughs> paying your dues, kid. I did it. Oh, oh really? God. I had to write like five or six emails every night. Oh. From, oh. And he'd tell me to, uh, all of them shouldn't be from Syracuse because some of it, because they could listen to streaming. So make sure, you know, they're from New York. <laughs> from New no. York City. They're not listening. Streaming. All right, well. Uh, well, let's. Uh, it I leads us to, to his big uh, cable access show. Right, he moved to New Hampshire. He doesn't look at, at, at it as a cable access show. No, no it's no. on the My9 or whatever the equivalent is, the My Network. But he pays during the paid programming portion. Right, it's Saturday late night, and yeah. right before the show starts, it says. The following show has been paid for. Yeah. The views expressed are not those of my network television. 
They don't even say not necessarily. No, so they're not. It was abso- actually is... they put absolutely not. Right. The opinion of this station. Right. We didn't even want to accept this money, but we're very poor. But Scorch talks like my network came and saw his public access show and says we need this for our I got network. Picked up for another season. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I was able to, to finagle a few bucks. And he's part of the Seinfeld Mafia suit. And he spends half the show. <laughs> yeah, sure he is. He spends half the show just asking for sponsors. Yeah, which he's just sponsors. trying to get people to give him money that he doesn't share with his staff. He's gonna fucking do a commercial for maple syrup up there, <laughs> up in the fucking he has boonies. Done. Yes, maple syrup. He's done stuff for. Well, let's let's get right into the audio. Yeah, let's let's hear some of Scorch's uh, wonderful TV Scorch, show. Scorch uh, starts the show for. by fist pumping Nick and making hilarious fisting jokes. He says nothing about pause yeah, for a cause, it. then goes back to fisting jokes. <laughs> fist me. Fist me, Nick. Fist me. Oh, I love fisting you. Uh, why do I always and miss I it? Oh. Uh, you know it's going to be a fine day when you can't even fist your best friend. <laughs> what do you miss fisting? I miss fist my best friend. That's not a good thing. Uh, welcome, everybody. Scorch's BMG TV. Get up. <laughs> He's the best. Welcome everybody. Yeah, yeah. It's and he treats it like it's a real TV. deal, like late night. Like it's Letterman or something. Let- right. Yeah, yeah. He's There's no clue doing that. that no one gives a shit about him or his show. He, he- actually did once on the show say, uh, "I don't." He he talked about something he saw on Leno. But he wouldn't mention Leno's name because he said he didn't want to bring up the competition's <laughs> name. Competition. He actually said he that. sits at a yes. card table. He sits at a folding card table. It's fucking. It's like the little rascals putting on a show. It is. It's horrible. It's slightly worse. Uh, pay as you exit. That's right. Spank. <laughs> Come everybody, scorches PFG TV. Get up, yeah. Get up. Oh my God! What in the? I love the smattering of applause. Oh, How many yeah, people yeah, are at this yeah. taping? There, mu- I mean, they can only fit like. Is this the Chinese place still, or did he get kicked out of there? No, now he's in a local <laughs> access TV studio. <laughs> but I mean, oh. you could fit 15 people maybe in there. All right. But I'm telling yeah. you, this is the most popular show in Manch Vegas. Manch Vegas. Yeah, that's what they call it. That's a good match. Remember last time? Right, Manch Vegas. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice is done. <laughs> Patrice is just nodded off at Scorch. You need orange juice? Uh, You're good. No, nah, this ain't the same. Uh, it's uh, just, it's not that. You're just tired. Just All right. Sorry. What an uh, interesting thing, uh, you know, for anybody wondering. Last week we didn't air because uh, I was in my little cage for the pause for the car. So, uh, <laughs> pause for talk the about car. Yeah. I am just now starting to recover. Is that the event where we had one of our listeners throw paint on him? <laughs> throw paint on him. <laughs> yes. You know that one, right, Colin? Which the, one? Where he sits. Was it paint or mustard? If it, it was paint. Where he sits in a dog cage. Uh, for, for the whole weekend or whatever? Yeah. To raise money for dogs. Ca- cause for pause. Uh, cause for pause. Right, cause for pause. And he gets in the cage, the doggy cage, and people come by, see him in the doggy cage, and, a- and give him money for the cause. And but something, <laughs> yeah. Does it go to the cause? Yeah. Hey, who knows? Maybe no, there should be doesn't. an accounting. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. going to, so we thought it would be yeah. a good idea if uh, our listeners threw paint on him. Oh, the, yeah. So he had to because he couldn't get out of the cage. That's so <laughs> they threw paint on him. <laughs> that's when he stopped calling the show. Yeah, yeah that, we, that, we that, that pretty much ended calling. our relationship. I'll never forget when I was trying to get him to come back on the air, and he goes, yeah, Sammy, this is not cool. Somebody just came up and threw yellow paint on me. <laughs> 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 Scorch, I don't know what's happening. Some of our listeners get overzealous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. never told them to do that. Yeah, I know, Sammy. I know. The guys love me. I know. Yeah, yeah. It, it's great. Yeah, he has no clue. He thinks we just absolutely love him. Which I guess is kind of play douche addressing. Yeah, I love the guy, but, you know, I don't What does he say? We share radio. ideas? Yeah, when our I first show. was interviewing with him <laughs> uh, outside of a Bennigan's, we, he said that you guys share ideas. Um, sometimes he'll do stuff from your show. Whereas the same way you guys have done stuff from his show, of Feels course. for Meals, and things like that. Oh, so he took credit for Feels How for Meals. How taking credit for that? That was his idea. Get the fuck out of here. You know, Feels for Meals, do for Dressing. Do they do rhyme. Feels for Meals rhymes, and Scorch loves Scorch to rhyme. Big rhymer. It's now starting to recover. Uh, I was crunched up like <laughs> some... Uh, when you, you're a human being. He couldn't think of something that I was crunched up like a, 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 a crunch, like a crunched up thing. That's Being Chip Chipperson. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's not really a natural thing to do, you know, but uh, we're going to talk about that show. soon. Hey, look, why is it? Mark, can you get a close up of my blood? Oh, why is up. it every time that I fist you, I get bloody? 
uh, because we're tight. Oh, uh, yes. Because yes. my stuff. fist is tight. There you go. That's a good one. What? <laughs> That's, That's a good, a good one. one. His fist is tight. But the fist isn't tight. With the anus would have to be tight. No, the no, no. The fist would have to be big. Fist. And you'd have to, I don't know. I don't even want to figure it out. So I'm exhausted. On. The fist yeah. and tight is a good one. I'm exhausted even thinking about this. Let's go right into the next clip. He's Please. very excited about what's coming up on PFG TV. Oh. Sirius, who uh, was my cage, he wasn't my cage mate, I shouldn't say. He was <laughs> was yeah, he a cage master? He was my kennel mate uh, throughout that week. Uh, you did a good job again, though, man. Thank Amen. you much. You know? And uh, so we're going to talk about how much I raised soon, because it was one of the best ones yet. But oh. a couple of good things going on with the show that I want to get into my quickly. For instance, we're growing by leaps and bounds. We have more cities <laughs> joining the Scorch's PFG TV network. Yeah! Come on. Not only more cities... But more states. For instance, uh, we are working on Florida, Florida, and we are working on Texas, and we are working on uh, on uh, Atlanta and Georgia. Atlanta's still in Georgia, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. And some of the uh, areas in northern California as well. So we got a lot of things going on. <laughs> He's working Florida. on. Uh, I know. Please, because my ex lives there, and she might think I'm making money. Now, is that your first or your second? Okay, that'd be my first one. Now, everybody on the staff can vouch that this show does not pay a dime. Which is why we're always looking for sponsors, which we'll talk about. <laughs> oh, God, Scorch, man. Holy shit. Well, did you shit, hear that? Scorch. I mean, you guys make fun of him, but he's working on Atlanta. Working on. Florida. Yeah. To- what do you think? Scorch is the type of guy that says things like, I'm working on this to cover up for the fact that he's completely lying that because you nothing, can't prove or disprove. Yeah, you can't prove or disprove working huh. on. you got to love his enthusiasm, though. He thinks yeah. He's a, yeah. he won't give up. No, he, thinks he's he a, won't. he's a media mogul. I was so freaked out. When uh, he kept telling me that he was having conversations with people at XM, that he was going to be joining you guys at XM. Yeah, yeah. He once broke down that he was talking to Kevin Straley, who was in charge then. Wow, back in the old days. Yeah. And that he had had a conversation with him, that they had talked about growing up in the same town. And he had all these details about a conversation that I'm sure never oh, happened. Oh, never took place? He would, he made like I, I he talked to me about it for a half hour, <laughs> and it never happened. That's very strange. It's weird. Yeah. Wow. Talks to invisible people. It's weird. Ugh. I love the scorch. Wow. Look at that. The schedule's getting to you, Carl. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that schedule's getting to you. You used to be able to trot in here in the morning and <laughs> full of piss and vinegar, as they say. Why the hell are you busting my balls? Patrice has been asleep for a half hour. <laughs> he was. Patrice just woke up. Oh, he's sleepy. You all right, Patrice? <laughs> yeah, he, was, he was here. All right, we're done with scores. Let's face it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Patrice is falling asleep. We're done with scores. What about the weird news, though? You like weird news? One more clip, Carl. Yeah, just yeah one more weird news. news. That's true. Right, one more news. clip. Let's start off with a segment that we like to call Weird News. Weird News. Scorch bleeding out the fist from fisting. Oh, no, that's not it. Uh, you ever heard the phrase, go fly a kite, right? Well, how many times has somebody ever said you go fly a kite? Uh, Depot Bay, Oregon, 45-year-old Dennis Brokus uh, just took that right to heart. He was flying kites with his roommate. What kind of a 45-year-old guy flies kites with his roommate? You know, the kind that wears pajama bottoms to Walmart. There you go. Uh, his kite got away from him. Uh, yeah, it would appear that uh, the guy, Dennis, tried to uh, get his kite. Uh, but all he caught was air. He chased the kite right off of a cliff, uh, and he fell to the ocean below, and he broke his body into 100 pieces. Ironically, the kite was flying right next to his body, about 100 yards from shore. Dennis's body, as you can see, all broken up. The kite was in perfect shape, so don't worry about it, because the kite was fine. Another one. You- <laughs> <laughs> That's where the laughing goes. Yeah, the laughter was supposed to be there in that humorous segment. The kite was fine. <laughs> the guy was fine. The guy, guy was fine. Uh, uh. Oh, all right. We lost Colin. We lost the trees. Yeah. I think we, we I think Scorch might be uh might be done. Hey. No, he can't be done. Yeah. I mean he's and he he wanted to debut a new segment for you guys and everything. Really? What? Taking it to the streets, which is T I T T S. He likes acronyms too. That's he right. likes rhyming and acronyms. Yep. Uh-huh. Take it to the streets is actually a pretty genius segment. Uh-huh. We could skip to that. Yeah. I guess that would be. That's let me fair. guess. He talks to people on the street. No, that would take effort. <laughs> but you don't understand. <laughs> the, you don't understand the cleverness of Scorch. He almost spelled out tits. 
Whoa. That's why taking it. Yeah. See, oh, T-I-T-T-S. See, gotcha. Oh. Mm. Taking it to the streets is pictures of street signs. Colin's looking for his publicist to yank him out of here. That have funny names. Oh. Patricia, all right. What the fuck happened? It's scorch. Was it Scorch? Scorch happened. Scorch debilitating. <laughs> It really is. Is that what happened with you? A chore. Really? Scorch just blew me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody gets jealous that they don't have the chops that Scorch does. Scorch is like Ambien. You know what? Is that what it is? Just walk around. You didn't know you were up. So we should play Last Man Rock Standing. <laughs> Rock to It's like, yeah. Jock you want to play Last Man Rock Standing with Scorch? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see who leaves. See who wild. actually I'll is make awake it. by I the end it. of uh, is the show tonight, Colin? Yeah. He has, to go. he has to go sleep. Let Colin go. I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> just going to watch me sleep? Fuck. You see, if Colin right. leaves, then we're going to never let it down. What time's your so. show? Eight. Eight? Are you talking about the MR or my show? I'm talking uh, your show. Because I got the MR first. What's an MR? Marriage ref. Right, right. Oh, Marriage shit. ref. When's that coming on? FTMR, that's his motto. She's going to get his tattoo, FTMR. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck the marriage Mary Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. Marriage Jeff's coming on in March. I'm shooting it today. Oh, wow. That's wow. a right. long time. That is a long time. You know, a lot of people think TV is actually live when actually <laughs> sometimes they tape months in advance. 